Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys had a beautiful weekend. It's time to kick off the week with Mr. K Mafenge, right? Now, Mr. K, according to the Instagram, says you're a rich kid. So, of course, I put God first. Day trader, e-commerce entrepreneur, Airbnb, six-figure entrepreneur, millionaire, okay? And there's no post yet. Okay, so we're dealing with a millionaire over here. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it, right? Now, we're going to go through all of the signals that were sent for the German 30 and the NASDAQ throughout February, because that's the video that I received over here. There will be an update for May as well. As you guys know, we have to go to the back to get to the front, right? So, before we get started, guys, once again, do not recommend any South African traders for me in the comment section below, because why? If they want me to review their signals, they need to contact me and I'll tell them exactly what it would cost for me to spend my time to do a review for them, right? At the moment, I'm only focusing on external, trying to get some good traders for you guys that is worth my money. So if you do know of anyone in South Africa that can trade, DM them, tell them to DM me and I will consider whether or not I want to waste my time on them or not. So let's get straight into this video over here. Now, let's get to it, right? Now, straight off the bat, I'm going to say this, right? There's a lot of good signals, right? There's a lot of signals sent, about 40 or less than 40. There's a lot of good signals sent. And then there's some signals that I, I think that needs to be enhanced just a little bit. Not a lot, just, just a little bit. And I'll speak you through that as we get there, right? Now, I'm not going to talk too much apart from the signals that were sent here, right? So we had every day, you get a German 30 and a NASDAQ signal, right? You can see, you can see what this look like, right? I think I've probably seen the same amount of signals in my, in my lifetime already. So the way I'm going to review this is I'm going to talk you guys straight. We're going to go through all the German 30 signals and then I'll come back and I'll go through all the NASDAQ signals. In that way, I don't have to go through like that right so we can start over here the first german 30 signal that was sent was at 10 on the first of feb and that was a buy and which was this one over here now this is what i was referring to about the risk to reward right now this is a 1.15 tp1 is about 0.5 now that would be counted as a negative reward because it's only half a percentage and that means if the stop it that would have been a one percent on the next trade right but in any case let's get through the signals as we continue so that was the first one they were sent and we're not going to go look at the nasdaq signal we will come back to that the next one was on the 2nd of feb which i do believe this one over there that was another buy on the german 30 which was this one over here um, again this is what i was talking about all of the prices was taken from the charts that's the stop loss that's the 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 TP. Now, in a situation like this, right, the TP1 had hit in this case. If you look where the entry was, you know, clearly all got to do with the price over there. The stop loss is sitting here, 16.870. So, sorry, 16.840 there. Now, only the TP1 had hit over here. You can see there, that was a 0.3%. Now, it's good to say that the TP had hit, but the percentage, so I do think that the, uh, the, it's either the stop loss needs to be adjusted or the take profit has to be adjusted to get at least a one percent right um the next one was seen on the fifth over here and we are gonna go through the uh, very quickly so we're gonna skip through the nasdaq signals because i want to make this one go uh very straightforward right um let's get yeah right so this one over here was a buy on the german 30 index on the 5th of uh, feb and uh this one over here has gone uh down first into some drawdown then into some profit there's a tp1 with no price and tp2 with no price right it says here tp1 0 0.01 is equal to 500 rand now it's not gonna be like that for all brokers that is why i just throw the thing on the chart um where we had a little bit of drawdown we've gotten to a little bit of profit then we continue to move lower but he is saying here yes, somewhere that let's get okay there was no update but it did send some flames for the dow for the german 30 index over there but that is again um again it's all got to do with preference right my personal preference and your personal preference is not going to be the same this i do not consider 
a price. I do not consider a signal. It is an indication. But I don't consider this 0 0.01 is equal to 500 Rand. Yeah, we need prices, which is what you've been doing so good moving forward, right? Um, we're not here for that. The next one that was sent over here was on the 6th of, uh, of Feb. There was another buy on the German 30 index, um, which is this one over here. That market went uh, slightly higher and then proceeded to go back down once again. Um, but the TP1 had hit. Now, that is why I say, right? He, he he's indicating here that the TP1 hit 30 pips and that was 500 rand. I don't know. I'm just reading it as I see it here. This is, I, I still just feel like there should be a price. That's it. I'm not going to say anything. I just say there should be a price, right? Um, any case, let's go over the next one. The next German 30 was also a buy, uh, which was this one over here, right? This trade you can see here, the TP1, although it didn't eat, is about 0.6%. Now, I'm going to say the same thing that I said before. The amount of trades that were won is a lot. But in terms of risk, it is not that high. And the best advice that I can give someone who can actually take constructive criticism, it is to increase the risk, uh, the, re the reward percentage, to so increase the risk to reward so that the p ls can just... So it can be a lot easier to read at the end of the day. Um, but overall, a good amount of wins, I say personally. Um, but I would like to see at least the TP1 because I basically plotted TP2s all over the place, right? These are all the main TPs that I plotted because uh, there's no way I'm going to plot the TP1 and a TP2 when the TP1 isn't even that much to talk about, right? Uh, February the 7th of a year, another beautiful, sorry, year... No, they sorry guys. Um we are we are supposed to go forward. Um there we go. On the eighth of Feb there was a buy, which is this one here. Um here we go, and this trade had gone into a little bit of drawdown. That was obviously a buy because we were trading at support. And you can basically just see the you know you you know you can kind of see the price action taking place here. Um, and there we go, one, two, three TPs, right? And the main TP for that trade, which was seen on the eighth day, was a, is a one percent, right? So three TPs just for one percent. Now that tells you already that the TP one, which was at six sixty nine three zero, which we're gonna go down there, it is there. Yo, it's almost no way because if you look at sixty nine two nine. There, six six sixty nine to nine is where it was entered, right? And the TP one is at sixteen nine thirty. Any case, uh, I'm I'm just gonna confuse myself. <sighs> Next trade over here, we got it was seen on the February the 9th and um, we're gonna go straight to there. Here we go. German thirty February the 9th was a sell. That was a clean sell here to the downside. That TP1 was plotted there at 0.75%. The total trade was 1.45%, um, give or take. And then, then, then there was another sell, I believe. That was NASDAQ. Um, have a nice day. There was mentorship somewhere in there that was for sale. Um, let me, let me, let me just pause quickly. Okay, I'm not missing out on anything here. Um, that was the NASDAQ, here we go, here we go, German 30 sell, TP1, TP2, TP3, um, that main TP had hit there also for 1.64%, TP1, 16970, was allocated somewhere here, and that would have been a negative, well, it, was, it, it is a negative percent because, you need to be at least at a one to one in order for it to be break even. A one to two would be a two percent, would be a positive. Uh, let's go German 30, sell. That stop was triggered over here, this one here. Um, and then next one was sent here on the 15th of Feb. Um, here we go. That was a buy on the German 30 index. Another good trade. There we go to the upside. Again, the only thing I would love to see is that, again, maybe 
he's a scalper. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're the scalping, right? But this is still overall a good execution, a good market direction. Um, but I do feel like they can get a lot out of the market, right? If, if they just squeeze it a little bit more. This overall TP3 was uh, 1.13%, uh, 1 right? And the prices were all taken from the chart. So I'm not making these things up. As I go along, there was a mentorship, was 12, now 600 bucks. Okay, we're going to get to that NASDAQ trades. Then there was a buy on the German 30, 16th of Feb. This one here, once again, only that TP1 had hit right before the U-turn. That was a good one, 1.29%. 1 and then we had, I would believe we had these, these one, two, three, four, five trades. Um, this one, Monday the 19th, uh, that we're going to go and take a look at. Um, here we go. There was a weekly update. Also, we did mention that people actually do get a full schedule, you know, so they can know what signal, what um, lot sizes to use, um, you know, how they need to manage the trade. So there is like a, like a follow, a thing that every trader follows when they do get the signals, right? That's just another good thing to see or to witness there as well. Um, February the 19th, yeah, over here, this trade, a little bit of drawdown into profit. Um, that was a TP1 17100, um, which was there. So that TP1 got triggered for 0.45%. Um, and then there was another signal that came through on the 20th which we are going to go and take a look at very quickly. Yeah. So now we got a TP4 as well. The TPs are just increasing. And I, there was a buy on the 20th over here, which was this one here. And this is where I might be wrong, right? I'm just going to say this before I go. Because if you look at this, this trade over here, right? I'm going to show you guys something very quickly, just so that you can see. That is at 16.055, right? Now I've plotted the signal exactly as it was saying there, 16.055, right? It's 052 actually, 052, right? This stop loss was plotted at 17,000, right? There you can see. But this TP was at 1770, which was basically there. In fact, if you look at the price that was sent here, that is 17.055. That TP was at seven. That main TP was at seventeen seventy. That that gives you an indication of what TP one, TP two. But if you put it out there for the universe to see, and you say, guys, TP one, TP two, TP three, and TP four, at it, it sounds nice. And the reason why I say it sounds nice, I used to send signals for another group a couple of years back, right? And that is how I was told that I need to send the signals. Because it just sounds better, it just looks better. When you say TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, TP5, TP6 hit, but the overall percentage gain isn't that good at the end of the day, right? But we're not here to talk about that now. Wednesday, the 21st, there was this one over here, was another buy, TP1 and TP2, where the main TP there for 0.94%. And I'm taking the prices. Um, this one over here, I need to just. Um, I think it was this year. I don't even know if it's that there. But that main TP had hit again. I would like to also just see some, some prices that was added there as well. There you can see. There was the buy there. Um, so that TP had hit there as well. So we're going to go over. Here we go. Buy German 30 again, which was, uh, where are we now? On Thursday, which was this one here, also beautiful execution. I think this was the best R to R. That was about a 4% over there for TP2. And that price was also taken at 17.292, which is 17. Did I make a mistake here? 17.285. Sorry, that's my bad. 17.285. There we go. That was about 1% for TP for the main TP, right? And then I believe there was one more signal that was sent where the stop got triggered, which was the last one. That one, um, and you will see now, there was a sell on German 30. That is that one there. 
and this was the one for the 23rd let's go to the one for the 23rd which was the one for friday right the one for friday 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 there we go that was the one for friday here we go german 30 was a buy here we go so this one also that stop got triggered and then the last one that stop also there okay folks german 30 study pips negative so we already call that as a loss right now that we've covered the one for the german 30 we're now going to go over the one for the nasdaq 100 now keep in mind that i'm a percentage type of trader i look at percentage gains most of you might not look at percentage you might look at the amount of wins and that is okay we all have a preference in the way that we trade when we do look at the markets right so let's go over um so the only reason why the only time i will do this where i go through one and then the other is when there's a lot being sent of the same pair um just to make it easier so i don't go through this stuff over and over again right the first on the the first um of feb was also a, a trade on the nasdaq the total trade was one percent the tp1 was 0.29 percent which you can see the two tp1 tp2 tp3 right now this was tp1 right tp1 sorry that was 217273 but you can see there's 17300 17300 that was the main tp and that is why i didn't put all that tps in there because for me the rest of the reward is too small yeah the tp1 added alone which was yeah this one was the a buy sorry a sell on the nasdaq which was on the second yeah this was that sell right there you can see the guy made he said he made you'll probably see that three ways he's made like over two hundred thousand. that was a 0 0.77 percent over there and then we are gonna go over to the fifth of fib that we can see over there um not that one which is this one there, there was a buy again tp1 according to ms 500 0.01 is 500 and a, and a tp2 0.01 is 1000 rand right that trade took a u-turn and then on the 6th of feb we had another trade on the nasdaq here you can see that stop was triggered um there we go uh there we go 6th of feb another buy same tp1 is that much that trade gone into some profit then made a u-turn um and then there was no update on that trade then there was that uh february the 7th again we go over here this tp1 this main trade was 0.8 percent tp1 was 0.27 percent right now again you can't really change people's minds in the way they look at things right um uh, and in a situation like this again you know people might say that they, there's a lot of trades that was one and and it's true there is a lot um but we look at things in a different way right if you look at the amount of trades at one it is a lot which is very good to see but i would love to see a bigger take profit um as as opposed to unless he scalps for a living quick ins and outs right um why are we doing this okay here we go 8th of feb another buy on the nasdaq um which is this one over here this trade i just decided to move that trade all the way there um 1.13 percent got hit as well that stop loss got hit for one percent uh february the 12th which is where we're gonna go and take a look at here quickly there was a buy tp1 tp2 tp3 <sighs> this was tp2 that had hit for 1.49 percent this was tp3 at that level 18050 uh 18050 there as well so just so you guys can see then there was some flames and flames and flames and th there we go now there's four tps Four TPs, thirteenth uh, February the thirteenth, which is this one here. Um, yeah, there's four TPs and the highest TP is one point seven four percent. So you don't even want to know what TP one was, TP two. That is why I say I think it's got the capability of being able to just to use better TPs. But if you know, but that's just my preference. Again, I don't trade this much. Um, 
Yeah, was a fifteenth of Feb a buy on the Nasdaq. Oh, okay, yeah, was another buy on the Nasdaq before that. That TP had hit as well. That one, the stop loss had hit. This was a beautiful two point eight five percent trade that got triggered over there. Um, okay, stop. That's why I rather prefer people just add me to the groups because why having to navigate through uh, the screen record is not the easiest way because you have to make sure that you get the thing to stand still when it needs to right the february the 20th that stop got triggered um then there was another beautiful trade for a 1.83 percent on the 21st that we are gonna go and take a look at quickly there we can see some blue screens there again one two three four right that was this one yeah that the 20th there um and we'll see that now there you can see there was a spike up but the price then came down um tp1 was it so 20th of feb which was this one here sorry so this tp1 had actually hit, right but the thing is for me if you go look at this tp1 nine seventeen six double five let's see here uh, there there we go that's about zero zero point eight six percent but again i i don't know if this tp had actually hit because the the market spiked down stop loss and then down again right but you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this was another good trade overall trade was 1.83 percent at the end of the day it's all dependent on on um which tp has have have you used yeah right um, it depends on which TP you used, and if you used a a the TP one the whole time, then then you 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 might potentially be in trouble, right? There there was a sell on the Nasdaq on the twenty first, uh, which was here. Yeah, that was a good trade, one point eight three percent. Then there was a buy, which was on the twenty second of Feb that we're gonna go and take a look at, um, which was on the Thursday, not that one. Here we go there clean by there's some barcodes and some barcoding taking place there and that 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 was a tp2 was 17895 um there you can see 17895 there the total trade was 0.91 percent so that was uh for tp1 and tp2 now there's still some things you need to take into consideration like the swap fees and all of that stuff right but we're not yet to talk about that um then we go to the trade for Thursday, uh, sorry, the trade for Friday, over there, which was uh, by the NASDAQ, uh, which was this one here, so this trade also went and hit the TP, TP3, AK 18310, no, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, Friday, um, 18310, is this right? 18130 sorry guys my bad 18130 oh tp2 18100 okay okay that's why only the tp1 had hit for 18070 that's why there we go so only the tp1 tp2 was missed so that was about 0.6 percent and then the last nasdaq trade was i don't think there was a last nasdaq trade there was however an update there tp7 um have a nice day so again i'm gonna say this okay based 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 off my own personal opinion right and because of the way that i trade i think that there's a high amount of wins right but i don't look at wins personally if you look at wins then good then this is very good for you right um i would give this gentleman one piece of advice and that's just to increase the tp1 reward so it can at least be at a one percent i think that would help a lot but overall good job well done lots of signals here tp there's a lot of signals but again we all have a different way of trading and yeah that's my conclusion guys i do this for you let me know what you think if this is something you would be um happy to sign up to and yeah i'm i'm looking forward to hear what you guys think thank you for your time and as always cheers for ears